Merry Christmas, drinking buddies. So Rob's Home Bar, 60 Second Cocktails, and Booze on the Rocks have got another great challenge for us. This is going to be the Christmas Martini 2021 challenge, and we're here to knock it out of the park. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies, we're gonna make this festive cocktail as awesome as possible. Um, you know how I like some of those Christmas flavors and we are here to make sure we make them shine. Um, I'm gonna begin with some gin. Gin is something that I feel like has some Christmas flavor. Uh, juniper, kind of tastes like Christmas trees. It's got some citrus in there. And uh, I'm gonna be using today this barrel aged Bound by Sapphire that I made. There's a video link in the description to when I made this, but you could use a different gin if you don't have a aged gin at home. So we're gonna go an ounce and a half of aged gin. That was a little bit of a heavy pour. I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit back in here. There we go, right at that ounce and a half. Ounce and a half of gin, I'm using aged gin. Next up, we have gotta bring in some more Christmas flavors. This has got a little bit of mint. This has got a little bit of pine. This has got a little bit of black pepper on it. Uh, black pepper's not really Christmassy, but the first two were. Chartreuse has got a lot of wonderful flavor to it. We're gonna use an ounce of this. General standard martini, two and a half ounces of gin. So we're gonna mock that a little bit. Why are we doing this in a mix, in a shaker tin, you might ask? Well, that's because our next ingredient is gonna be a juice. In place of the dry vermouth, we're gonna use some cranberry juice, and we're gonna use a half an ounce of that. Since we're using juice, that means we need to shake. Normally a martini you would stir, but one, like I said, we're using juice, so we need to shake. All right. We have our three ingredients in here to place, replace the standard martini specs of a three ounce beverage, usually stirred. We're gonna shake because we use the juice. I'm gonna add a little bit of bitters to the party. And I wanted to use just the standard aromatic bitters. I, knew you, I know I use them a lot on the channel and I have other options here. I just feel like they're gonna bring a little bit of uh, fall spices and some vanilla to the party that are gonna make this cocktail really shine. Let's shake this up, pour it in a nice martini glass. All right, I got a nice and chilled martini glass. A little tip, if you don't have a martini glass in your freezer, which is where I got mine from, you can put, fill it up with water and ice, and then right before you're about to serve the cocktail, you just dump out the water and ice. Really nice tip they use at bars a lot uh, to help chill their martini glasses. Let's pour this guy in here. It has a nice uh, pinkish, red, kind of orange color going on that I really like. And we have one final ingredient. We just gotta have a nice garnish for a cocktail this nice. I got some rosemary and I'm gonna give it a couple slaps. Hopefully, release some of those oils. I'm gonna stir it just once and then just kind of lay it on top. This is your drinking buddy's Christmas martini. Mm. <laughs> okay, all right, so the chartreuse is bringing way more mint than I normally get off of chartreuse, but I'm okay with it in this. It's actually working. Um, we got some pine coming through here, a lot of rosemary flavor from the, um, the nose of smelling that. I really like that I used only a half an ounce of the cranberry because I didn't want to dilute the cocktail too much, and I also don't want that cranberry flavor to take over. And it's really nice, because it's just kind of adding an extra element here. I get a little bit of juniper from the gin. I get a little oak from the gin, because I did use the aged gin, but you know, that's you know a subtle note that's not gonna be ruined if you leave that out at home. Yeah, there's a lot of botanicals going on here from the chartreuse as well as the gin. Um, this is really nice. Um, I think this is one that I might serve at like a um, Christmas party. Might serve it over a Christmas day brunch, something like that. Your drinking buddies, Christmas martini. Make it for your friends.
you'll like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.